All right, here we are in a beautiful Roanoke, Texas day, looking at a very nice 1956 Ford custom cab, big window, resto mod pickup. We'll walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Beautiful, professionally restored, finished in a beautiful medium blue metallic. You can catch the reflections as we walk around here. True resto mod retains all its trim, all its custom cab big window trim included with the truck hang on to the video we'll have all the hood side emblems and everything if you want to put them on you could do it um, has rev 17 inch wheels with brand new tires custom cab has a beautiful bright work here also included are the uh, step plates if you want to install them on there Up front here, it's sitting on an updated chassis. It's a body off restoration. We'll step back and we'll talk about the chassis here for a second. Four wheel independent suspension. We get to the back, we'll talk about the rear. As a, a fully independent Mustang two style suspension up front, disc brakes up front, four wheel disc brakes all the way around, Willwood master cylinder. Tubular control arms, power steering. Professionally restored by a shop out of California, Eddie's uh, Hot Rod Shop. Notice the trims up front here. We're going to tell you about what's underneath the hood here in just a minute. Very nice. All the grill is like show chrome. The bumper's been smoothed. 454 big block underneath the hood. 454 cubic inch GM big block. 700 R4 automatic overdrive. This finish shows all the way through underneath the hood, the firewall, all the fender aprons has this finish on it. Um, all the way, you know, the bottom of the firewall, underneath the aprons here. You'll catch a quality of the build there. These are chrome REV wheels, so they're easy to keep clean, five spoke. Again, we'll have it up on the left. Emblems are included if you want to install them, that's up to you. Windshield has the chrome trim. Factory style mount mirrors. Door jam to door jam, very nice. Chrome plated hardware in the door jams. Chrome plated glove box door. Vintage air conditioning. Tilt steering column, column shift, TMI, newly installed TMI, black seat with blue stitching. There's a package shelf in the back, that kind of thing. Nice entry step here. Or the sill plate is chrome or polished. Here's the fuel fill, factory spot, but the tank is nicely hidden behind the seat, behind this trim panel here. Hang on to the end of the video. We'll show you what's included with the truck. Doors shut really nice. You'll see this is a factory big cab truck. Here's the factory spot or pinch welds in the cab. Um, we were able to get some history. Bed out back. Factory style bed, but I believe it's a, a kit bed that was put on it. It's been smooth, that type of thing. It's been capped. Corners are done here. Stuff you generally wouldn't see. We do know that it was a California truck like we mentioned. Look at the finish on this. These are steel. It has oak hardwood bed with stainless steel strips in it. The tailgate can come down with these. Uh, you've released these, cut these uh, pins here and then you take it out and you can tip it down. We're not going to do it here. Stainless uh, factory style tail light housings. Get you out back here. I know we told you it was four wheel independent suspension. Jag suspension chrome plated in the back. So it's nice, cool, so you can see it. Custom dual exhaust coming out the back. Got a truck that'll take some trophies for you. Interior of the bed's just beautiful. You'll see how these are capped here. We 
we'll get you inside and share the inside here and of course we'll have it up on the lift like we always do coming up under after this is under the hood in the door panels the TMI this is a matching seat has these leather suede insert in the middle kind of a rally stripe looking thing and the steps are included here if you wanted to install them tilt steering column aluminum top drop down same finish goes all the way throughout this truck in plates right there I have not tested audio but I did see a uh, Bluetooth connection there for your phone we'll go over that and make notes that uh, on the ad vintage air conditioning power steering that we talked about billet specialty steering wheel full factory style gauge pack on it detail the level of detail in this truck throughout is just super nice course port's been finished here in a semi gloss a little weed whacker going that always happens to me 454 big block underneath the hood here the finish follows all the way through has a 700 r4 automatic transmission of course the jag independent rear suspension you'll see the uh, short tube uh, ceramic coated headers here power rack and pinion steering with a modern power steering pump and front runner belt drive system polished holly intake manifold with holly carburetor so it's a mash match set early mickey thompson valve covers finned air filter housing polished aluminum radiator here you'll see the core strengthening reports or uh, supports or polished stainless and then chrome plated brackets you'll see the billet hardware here with the aluminum washers on it finish here up front tubular control arms we get it up on the lift you'll find it's just this nice co polished coolant uh, coolant recovery tank there Polished AC compressor with that serpentine belt front runner. Chrome Holly fuel pump mechanical. Billet distributor. Got a finish on the firewall here. Bottom side of the hood. Take it out of the shop here. The road's too crazy busy out there. Take around the parking lot here, show you it drives. Power steering is nice. It's still cold. <laughs> Definitely healthy. Four wheel disc brakes are nice. Power steering is nice. Alright. Have a great day. All right, included with this 56 bingo, big window, we talked about it having a new TMI seat and door panels in it. Uh, this complete interior is included with the truck, could easily be reinstalled if you like this better. Um, all the hood side emblems, all that stuff is included with it. The step, entry steps for it, pair of those. The custom cab emblem is included. And of course the hardware that goes with it. Up on the lift here. Very nice uh, professional body off frame restoration. Fully independent Jag rear suspension with quad shocks. Inboard disc brakes in the rear. So it has four wheel disc brakes. Chrome plated 
half shafts. See the bed, stainless steel strips. These are all steel fenders. Brand new rubber on it will do the outside cruise around for you. Exhaust goes over the differential, which is nice for the nice rear exit here. Magnaflow mufflers, custom dual exhaust. Look up in here, you'll see the inside of the bedsides have been finished, the back side of the cab corners. Has the uh, partition rubber here. It's up the air gap. Rear diff support bars up here. Chrome plated. AN style fuel lines. Fuel tank is in the back of the cab. You can see the feed there. The bottom side of the cab is finished in a Rhino style coating. Rubber exhaust hangers. Chassis appears to have been powder coated. Battery has a uh, battery you can access it through the cab, but this is an aluminum tray. Chrome custom built cross member. Dual reservoir. Looks like a Willwood master cylinder. like a hydraulic assist there on the brakes 700 R4 automatic transmission 4 speed overdrive bottom side of the big block this painted body color Mustang 2 style front suspension disc brakes tubular control arms stabilizer bar coil springs with gas shocks up front Power rack and pinion steering. So a relay for the uh, cooling fan, I believe. Nice thing I noticed when I was cruising around looking at this, the trans cooler, most guys will just stick one on the frame rail and then it's air cooled. It's nice that they uh, connected this one actually to the radiator. So it's, uh, I feel the tranny runs a more steady temperature. See the inside of the forward of the cab, body color there. All right, we'll do the bird's eye walk around here for you. Has brand new rubber on it. Uh, it was just put on. Riken Raptor radial tires. The tire size is a 225-45ZR17 two up front. Again, it's an all steel pickup, beautiful body and paint on it. See the body and paint here. So they've covered the, air, the gap here, which is nice. I talked about that on the underside. Out back here, tire size is a uh, 255-50ZR17. Cool truck.